unboxing and review. Now today I got, as you can see on the front of the box, a Batman statue. This is from Batman vs Superman. It's the Armored Batman. Surprisingly, this was pre-ordered prior to the other Ben Affleck uh, premium format statue I do have. Yeah, this one was released several months later. Uh, but this actually was, went on pre-order, I believe it was like a few days prior to Batman vs Superman. And without even seeing the movie, I pre-ordered it because I liked the statue that much. It was quite a long wait, but let's see how it is. Uh, looks like the exclusive is limited to 750 and I have 321. It's a decent sized box for sure, quite big. Although that movie, Batman vs Superman, does get a lot of hate, but I liked it a lot. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I thought the fight between Batman and Superman was really cool, and I did like the costume quite a bit. So, let's see what we have here. Alrighty, so let's first take off the base. Ooh, got that nice polystone styrofoam smell. So here is the base. As you can see, armored Batman. Not too heavy, to be honest. I don't think this is actually polystone. Or if it is, it's just hollow. Maybe it's just hollow. But it's not too heavy, which I do not mind. Because the heavier the statue, the more likely the shelf is to break from, you know, being too heavy. So I'll just put this right here. Like so. Next, let's get off the actual armored Batman. They did had him quite a bit. There's styrofoam on all parts. It's like they really wanted to protect this bad boy. So he's inside a plastic wrap and an additional <clears throat> cover. Let's see. It's quite a big PF. I will give you that. As you can see here, me holding it. Very nicely detailed. Go ahead and put him in the base. All righty, there he snapped in. All right. Next, here is the cape. There's that. Nice material. I may need to watch the unboxing video <laughs> on how to do this. I'm not 100% sure. I believe this goes through here. And these simply attach. I think it goes like this. The cape simply attaches like so. Now, the exclusive version on this is him holding the grenade launcher. I'll need to put batteries as well inside the head because it doesn't look like there's any batteries inside. So the regular edition does have his hand uh, slightly open, so it looks like you could definitely make a custom piece out of that. Now that just goes in like that. I will, of course, be displaying the exclusive, like 100% of the time. 
And here's the exclusive, very nicely detailed. Definitely like that exclusive piece better. So I'm not sure if they included any batteries. I'm not seeing any batteries for the head. I will need to figure that out. I do not see any. Well, I'll just put the head on so y'all can see it or basically like that. I'll need to fix it up a little bit, uh, make sure it's addressed properly. Cape is coming off. I'll fix it up and get the batteries working and we will do a review and comparison. All right, got him set up. Quick comparison versus some Marvel statue size. He is pretty big. There he is next to Optimus. He's freaking big. Look at him compared to the Superman PFE. He freaking towers over him. He literally barely fit in this shelf because he's tall. I don't think I'll display him in here. He's too big and he takes up a lot of space. I might put him right there and just put the Wonder Woman in there. Yeah, he's freaking big. Look at that. Dang. Big, big PF. All right, here's a side-by-side -side comparison versus the Superman Premium format. As you can see, he is way freaking bigger. I'll need to re-watch the movie to see how much bigger he really was, but he definitely is freaking huge. Dang, 23 inches tall and just girthy. No. Great detail all around. However, mine did have one little issue. His face, as you can see right there, has a little chip. I gotta get that replaced. Uh, I haven't thoroughly looked at the statue too much to look for any additional damage, but that is the initial damage I did see that will have to get replaced by Sideshow. Quite a big PF though. Very impressive. Let's look at the base. Base is similar theme to the other Batman base, however this one is just a little bit different in a few ways. First off, these bolts are much bigger. Now you compare it to this one, the bolts are tiny. And then this one, the rocks he's just like step over aren't quite as big as, big as the other one, which really shows you how massive this piece is concerned. He's not as high up on the base as the other one, yet he's taller and just girthier. Outfit is excellently detailed. The armor looks fantastic. Good paint job. Now, the mouthpiece does not look as bad as you would think. Let me just take it off and put it in better light. All right. Hope y'all can see that pretty good. It's not that bad. Let me do a comparison versus the other Batman. As you can see, it's quite bigger. It's more uh, darker, looks like he has more of a, like a five o'clock shadow, you know, like he's growing a beard almost. Now the Batman on the right does look different in person than it's portraying the color in camera, you know, in the camera it's looking very, you know, it's just more whitish where it's not. This one is definitely more tan. It's definitely not that bad looking. I like it. Let me show you the light up. So just press a button here. Boom. So let me just put that on there. I'm quite impressed. It's, you know, huge. Just sucks that little chip on the face. Definitely like the exclusive. We definitely need a new Superman premium format to go next to this Batman, you know. It's like, we really need one. Because Man is still right there, it's just not cutting it. 
All right, my camera's about to end. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this.